squabble between the Naga Students Federation and Naga Club over the ownership of the Naga Club building in Kohima has created confusion and raised questions to many. To get a clear picture on the issue, Hornbill TV tried to speak to both the parties. However, the NSF refused to comment. Let's take a look at the ground report from our Kohima correspondent. I'm outside NSF office at the Naga Club building here in Kohima. Well, heated arguments have been doing the rounds between the Naga Students Federation and the Naga Club over the Naga Club building in Kohima. Naga Student Federation in its recent public statement stated that Naga Club building in Kohima has been unfortunately met an issue of dispute out of the blue by some individuals who recently from a Naga club and are now not only laying claims as the sole owners but also issuing eviction orders to the federation. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Naga club also, while issuing a statement, stated that the Naga club endeavors to restore the building to its rightful owner, the institution of the Naga club, and to ensure that it continues to provide a platform to all organizations that work for the common interest and welfare of every Nagas. Let's take a look at the ground report as we interact with the NSF president, also the members of the Naga Club. We are still very positive because uh, we are going to go in a way generation and we are doing for the coming generation. And uh, we are having a you know, kind of a misunderstanding with the NSF, but Naga Student Federations are the coming generation, and we are doing for them. So all that we are doing is for them. Therefore, there should not be any issue, there should not be any dispute, and so and so on, I believe. 2012, but and, uh, uh, I think they will come, and we are expecting them to come. And then once they come, I think there's no any, you know, uh, problem because there is no any dispute actually. They also acknowledge that it belongs to Nagar Club. They only they doesn't recognize the Nagar Club. So once we meet, there should not be any problem and we are expecting that they will come and meet us any day. Next step that uh, Nagar Club is thinking like to sit on one across one table with the NSF if they agree and then uh, like you know what what is the next step forward? Uh, I think they will come. See, so far they have refused to meet us, saying that our, their meeting with us will legitimize owners. Okay. They are the co owners okay. of the Naga Club, you know, history, legacy, and also the building. And uh, there is no any issue to give them co ownership. We are also the owners, they are co owners. Co owners are as good as owners. And, uh, uh, for that, there is no issue, and uh, our intention is, uh, you know, this is uh, projecting a very poor light to the, for the Naga society, particularly Naga Club. The building has gone to severest uh, depreciation and so and so on. Now we like to bring, uh, you know, a large museum and then the, uh, a library also, and then we wanted to make some rooms to accommodate you know, as far as possible, every part of uh, the, uh, every organization of the Naga society, and then the, uh, near and far and so on. So that is the vision. Then we wanted to re re rebuild that thing, the building along with the uh, legacy and so on, so that we can pass the legacy to the coming generation. Otherwise, we will be most uncomfortable if the, we bury the history and the legacy in our generation and gone away. So as mentioned by the NSF, the indication that they put was Naga Club was just from 2017 or 18. Can you comment something on that? Yes, that is not true. Naga Club was, uh, you know, formed in the 1918 on the 7th January. The first president was uh, Rishali Pena. Then the next, uh, uh, you know, was uh, uh, Kusihu, but, uh, Solo and uh, Zirkro Teno Angami. 
then the Kemolota, uh, XMB Kemolota was the uh, secretary and uh, caretaker from uh, 1996 to no 19, 90, 1966 to 69. Then there was a, a hiatus of I uh, think uh, Naga Club for you know uh, a period between. 1969 to uh, 1982, but in 1982, Nagar was revived, and then uh, Azatul became a president. Then the Vilavor Legacy became the general secretary, and Kewes uh, Mero became the joint secretary. And Kewes uh, Mero was. Uh, Hold, held, holding his post as a joint secretary till the new team of Niagara Club came uh, to be formed in the team. To, no, not from Younger generation are not coming in terms with the older generation and all? Uh, no, I do not generalize the younger generation. Many younger generations uh, support our, you know, this stand and uh, they support Niagara Club. We are planning to have a uh, general you know, meeting in the uh, PEC shortly. Then uh, we are planning to go to Mohokshun, then uh, to work hard and to do the potosa and so on like that, as far as possible. And uh, many youngsters are, younger generations are interested and happy. members on the statement they met on the Nagar Club building, whereas they informed that at this point of time, NSF would not like to go into the details of countering the arguments put across. NSF also informed that any further details will be delivered only after proper consultation. For more updates, keep watching Hornbill TV. I'm Yan Bini with Breast Covenant for Hornbill TV.